Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 944. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 944 to 945, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to do two things. We're going to see how to create a single cell formula to calculate total interest on a business amortized loan. But more importantly, we want to see a step-by-step -step approach to creating your own array formulas. Now, in, when you have a business amortized loan, it's different than a consumer loan. And the problem is there's no built-in function to calculate total interest. So you kind of have to create, if you want a single cell formula, an array formula. Now, if you had a consumer loan, amortized loan, you could just use the CUM for cumulative, I for interest, and PMT for payment and boom you'd have it but there's no such function in for a business amortized loan here's the step by step approach and this is kind of how i do it i'm i get in the situation i'm like i have no idea how to do this so i do it longhand which means in this case you build an amortization table you kind of look at how the amortization table is calculating how the columns are working and from that you can kind of concoct an array formula that will work all right, what is a business amortized loan? Well, there's lots of different loans that are all governed by contract, but one type of loan says if you borrow a million bucks, you have to give the bank or the whoever you're paying back a, an even amount of principal each period. Then based on that principal repayment, you can calculate period interest and the amount to write in uh, the full check amount each month. So let's do our amortization table, and from that we'll figure out how to do an array formula. Well, first let's calculate principal repayment equals that uh, 25,000. By the way, that 25,000 is just a million divided by 40, right? And I'm going to hit the F4 key, Control Enter, and then drag it down. Notice I have zero at time zero. We just have the balance sitting there, but one all the way down to 40. Same amount for principal repayment. Now calculating what's remaining on the loan is simple. We simply say the amount that was sitting in the account for last period and then you subtract the principal amount that you sent in. Control enter, double click and send it down. Now interest is what we're after. We're after this column here. Well periodic interest is easy if you have an amount sitting in same amount for the whole period. All periodic interest is hey whatever was in the account sitting in the count during the last period times the period rate. And you better lock that with the F4 key. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Notice when we get here, it's the balance that was sitting in the account times the period rate. Balance times the period rate. Uh, payment, unlike a consumer loan, is then you add Alt equals, keyboard shortcut for auto sum, simply the principal repayment and the interest. Control Enter, double click and send it down. So what we're interested in is this column right here. You can see down here on the uh, status bar, 717500. So I'm just going to add that up here, Alt equals. I mean, in essence, this is how you'd have to do it if you didn't uh, have an array for me. Calculate the amortization table, sum, Control Shift down, and I'm going to use Shift Enter. That puts the formula in the cell and jumps the cursor up. All right, that's what we're after. We want to be able to just delete all of this, but have this, the formula work, Control Z. All right, all right. Now, the way I do this is I look at the longhand calculation, kind of see how I did it, and maybe I can figure out an array formula. The first thing is, well, what do we add? All of these numbers. So let's look at one little hint before we go ahead and examine this and create an array formula. What we're ultimately going to have to do is do exactly what the sum function did. So check this out. I'm going to Alt equals, Control Shift down arrow, and I'm going to highlight this range. And if I hit the F9 key, it evaluates it. Evaluate creates what's called an array constant. Curly brackets um, surround the array constant. Those semicolons mean the values are in rows. But that, what you see right there, that's what we're going to have to create um, from scratch based on these inputs, nothing from down here. All right, hit Enter. By the way, why did I not have to 
um, do use control shift enter because that's an array. Well, array constants do not require control shift enter. Um, so I'm going to hit enter. All right, now what is it that we do need? We need all those. So let's go look at this. Well, how did I calculate periodic interest? Well, oh, balance times period rate. Balance times period rate. So in order to get this column, I'm going to need to create all of these values inside our formulas. So here, let's just think about this. I'm going to see if I can, because I know that's not going to work, right? Those two things right there. Well, maybe it will. How did I calculate this? Oh, 100,000 minus 25,000. Uh, oh, 975 minus 25,000. Let's think about this. Right here, what did I actually subtract from the original amount, 50,000? What about here, 75,000? What about here? I subtracted 100,000. So let's try that approach. Instead of all of these 25,000 sitting here, here I want to create original balance minus 25,000. Here I want original balance minus 50,000. Well, 25,000 times 1, 25,000 times 2, that will give me the amount to subtract. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to say 100 uh, a million, original loan, F4, and then I'm going to subtract 25,000, I'm going to hit F4, times, and guess what, I'm cheating here, I already have the 0, 1, 2, 3. Right now it'll say 25,000 times 0, subtract nothing, So because we, we're going to need that million in our formula. Control Enter, and drag it down. That is what we're going to have to create inside of our formula. So how do we do that? Well, those two cells right there, those will work in a single cell formula because they're single numbers. It's just, oh, the 0, the 1, the 2. So if we could take that and in a single cell, instead of having this whole column, create an array that had 0 to 39, right? We need 39. We could create exactly what we could create the array. Uh, principal balances. So I'm going to come up here, equals original balance minus 25,000. And then I'm going to times. Remember, what I need is here is 0 to 39. And I'm going to cheat again. I'm going to highlight this whole column, scroll up, highlight it, and I'm going to do just what we did. I'm going to evaluate this and create an array constant, F9. Whoa, pretty cool. And check this out. What is this going to do? When I take in an array formula, if I have a bunch of values times a single value, that single value will go that times 0, that times 1, that times 3. Let's just prove it to ourselves. F9. There's the amounts we need to subtract, 25,000, 50,000, 75,000. Not only that, but do you see that's an array? So when I take the original principal minus an array, it'll say 100,000 minus 0, which is a I mean, a million minus zero, which is a million. A million minus 25,000, which is 975, et cetera. So I'm going to Control Z. I don't want to hard code that. Highlight this in F9 just to check it out. There, in a single column, I mean, a single cell is that column of values. So one step further, I'm going to Control Z. What do I need now? I need to take all of those values and multiply it times the period rate. So I'm going to, in parentheses, And that'll work. So now this is delivering a whole array. And again, the idea is if you have a single cell, some math operation or comparative operation, comparative operator compared to a whole array, it'll do it to all of them. So check this out, F9. And there it is. We've simulated in a single cell all of those values. I'm going to Control Z and copy. Now I'm going to hit Enter here. It'll show me the first value. All those values are still there. And I'm going to try the sum function. Control V, and then close parentheses. Now again, the sum function will work here without Control Shift Enter because we have an array constant. I'm just going to hit Enter. Cool. The problem with that approach, even though it's cool, is if I change this to 10 years, right? Not going to work, right? Because we've hard coded. Oh, I have too many numbers there. Control Z. I just saw an arrow. But you could see that that doesn't work because we've hard coded those in. I'm going to come over here. I When I did this little trick, check this out. I'm going to uh, click there. Control Shift Down Arrow. I did not want that 40. So now I'm going to Control Shift Down Arrow and Shift Up Arrow. 
I wanted 0 to 39, so now I'm going to highlight that and hit F9. Copy. So now it's 0 to 39. Copy. And then I'm going to, inside the Oh, wait a second. Yeah, so that's, I'm going to take this entire thing, copy, and just slap it inside the sum. That was a little mistake. Okay. But again, we don't want, we want to be able to change this, so we need a more robust way to do this, Control-Z. So the only trick is then, how in the world do we create a, an, an array that will change from 0 to 39 if it's 40, but 0 to 19 if it's 20. Right, so let's, in this cell right, or how about this cell right here? We'll do this little construction, the row function, and then inside the row, we'll do the indirect, and inside the direct, we'll do in double quotes, one colon, in double quotes, and join it to this 40. Now, what this is going to do is inside of here, if I highlight this bit, it's a clever way, and I'll hit F9, of creating a reference. It's a row reference. It says 1 to 40 rows. The problem is it's text. See the double quotes? Control Z. So the indirect function, its specific job is to take a reference that's as text and convert it back to a reference. Now guess what? I can't F9 this, because if I F9 this, it would create this huge uh, reference with way too many characters. So I'm going to click Escape. It would create a reference, but I don't want all that. I just want to know how many rows there are between 1 and 40. So now when I hi highlight the whole thing and hit F9, there it is. But that's not quite what we want. We want 0 to 39, so we have to do an array operation. Minus 1. All right, now that'll work. F9, 0 to 39. And it's dynamic. When I change that to 10, this will be 0 to 19, Control-Z. Now, we are going to have to put this inside of this formula over here. And I, that subtraction needs to happen before the, it's given to the formula. So I'm going to put parentheses around it and copy just that, Control-C, and then Enter. It shows you the first one, but not the rest of them. OK, I'm actually going to keep that there and come down here and uh, OK, I got that there. The final, all right, we'll do it from scratch. Ready? Now, this is going to require Control-Shift-Enter. So we'll start it. I'm going to say principal minus the 25,000 times that right there. Now, that gives me all of the principal's amounts. And so I need to put parentheses around it and then times the period rate. Now, this bit right here it is an array. It's not an array constant. So if I hit Enter, it gives me just the first value. If I use Control-Shift-Enter, that's me telling Excel I'm doing an array formula, Control-Shift-Enter. And up here, you can see those curly brackets. That's Excel telling you I understood it's an array formula. So there it is. But now, I don't want to do Control-Shift-Enter, so I'm simply going to use some product. Now, the cool thing about some product, I didn't, I, some product is that it is specifically designed to handle arrays. So it doesn't require Control Shift Enter. And so there you go. That's your single cell formula. Either that one or this one, if you. Uh, uh, if it's always 40, then that certainly one that one will work. But there you go, a single cell formula. Now there's actually one other manifestation of this that we could do. Check this out. This whole column, right? If we were to add all of these up, these principal mounts, and get a single number and multiply by that, it would give us the correct total interest also. So I'm going to Control V. And inside here, if I control enter, that gives me the addition of all of the principal balances. Right? You can see down there that that's verified there. But now if we simply take that and multiply on the outside times this 35,000, uh, that will work also. All right, so a little bit about a single cell formula for calculating the total interest on this type of business amortized loan. And hopefully, uh, 
at least my muddled way of working through how to figure out an array formula I'd never seen before. All right, we'll see you next video.